Hello guys, we are at uh, Lugal Lake, uh, just going to give you a tour of the lake, drive around. I'm at the uh, public area where there's, during the summer it's the swimming area and there's some picnic tables. Uh, the boat ramps over here, uh, it's right off the dam. Got plenty of picnic tables, uh, campgrounds over this side over there and uh, so I'm gonna give you a tour there's a guy backing his boat in right now on the dock as you can see he's uh, backing his boat in it's the public swimming area uh, during summer this place would be really busy I'm kind of at a picnic table and and a barbecue area right now. They have public restrooms right there, parking up there for the guys that use the boat ramp like this guy is doing. Then you got public parking here. Got a shelter up that way, volleyball court. And of course you got more picnic tables and stuff off that direction. And I'll get my car and we'll drive, drive over that way here in a little while. Uh, Way across the lake, you'll see uh, well, uh, sailboats over there and uh, some boat docks. That's Redbud Marina on the other side of the lake. We'll drive over that way too. Uh, but I'm going to kind of walk up this direction and uh, give you a quick uh, kind of tour of what this looks like up here. Plenty of room for trucks and their trailers when they're, you know, putting back in their boats in and then park their park their trucks and stuff. Oh, it's up there. Oh. But let's uh hop in my truck and We'll kind of head up and drive around some other areas. There's a, I'm gonna go across the lake, uh, the bridge, I mean the dam. Um, you can see there's some fire trucks and stuff up there. There apparently was an accident, so it's all down to one lane. So they're having to direct traffic. Uh, you can see a shelter right up there for uh, people. But yeah, let's uh, drive around for a little bit. And uh, that way you guys can see everything. When our kids were little, we used to camp over here and we'd bring them over here to swim and stuff and that's pretty pretty cool area to come and camp and spend a weekend oh yeah you can I think there's a road that goes back off around there Sometimes they uh, charge during the summer, this is a shack, they'll charge, and then you got the person that kind of works for the park services, stays in that trailer right there. Uh, we'll whiz on around and see what they got back off around this way. Closed off. I guess they got that area closed down. We'll go out this way. See if, they, uh, see if the campground's open and I can take you on a tour in there. So.
this is a campground it doesn't look like anybody's at the gate so I think uh, yeah, I think we can kind of pull in here and see what's uh, what's up this is the area right here this is the campground area yeah. they have like uh, trails and you know, stuff for people. This, uh, we've been... This is where we went camping. There'll probably be some people in here that are still camping. Got the non-electric campsites this way. As you can see, there's picnic tables and stuff. There's public restrooms. And uh, each one of these picnic table areas right here are campsites, as you can see. Um, they have numbers on them. And you can see those people are all set up. Uh, same thing over here. These are all campsites for people. And they'll have like picnic tables on down by the lake that you can use. But uh, pretty cool. There's a shelter, you can use that. But yeah. And then like this uh, campsites, $16 per night. That ain't too bad. another shot at the lake over there this basically lake comes into a cove part of it right here and there's just kind of campsites down there all around it so pretty neat I also have a frisbee golf course here. Uh, kind of like that, uh, my video, you know, you saw in Chandler Park. Uh, there's some more campsites down there. Uh, some right here. Pretty cool. Right up there, those campsites right there is where. Uh, when the kids were little, that's where we camped at, right there. You can see there's more on down that way too. Yeah. And we kind of come full circle right here. That's where we were at earlier. So, pretty nice. It's a lot of fun coming out here and camping and stuff. You know, there's a playground right there for the little kids to have fun and play. Just nice thing about it is you're just not that, you know, you're not that far from the swimming area and stuff. You just walk over there and, and go, you know. That's what's cool about it. They got an area and pull, it, pull on down in there too. So, but, yeah, and then right there, they got like a gazebo and seating, you know, people want to put on some kind of show, but, we'll uh, pull out here, go down across the, uh, across the dam here and go to the other side and so you can see Red Bud Marina. Uh, 
I get up here I'll have to put the camera down because there's a highway patrolman up here so I'm gonna put my camera down too bad they waved us on through I didn't have to stop <laughs> so as you can see off to my left here that's the view of the lake and this side over here is what they call the spillway and there's parking spots you can put boats in the water and fish over there too but you can see there's people out there fishing and back on this side is going to be another park area with some restrooms and and uh, stuff. There's just the only thing about it. There's no swimming area. You may be able to get down close to the rocks to do do some fishing. So then uh, up ahead, up here, we'll. There will be a sign for uh, Redbud Marina, and uh, when we get up there, we'll we'll turn in. It's a uh, you pay to keep your boats and stuff in there. Um, my dad he uh, used to have a couple of so this uh, yeah. See, Redbud has a campground too, but it's closed off. But up here's the uh, marina and stuff and cabin rental. They have cabins you can rent. So campsites right there. I actually think maybe there's some people living there. <laughs> so the heads the uh, marina and the boat ground. But yeah, you have some people that yeah they just they live here. You can see all the sailboats. Some of them have just been backed up, and that's it. End of their life. They're not even, they need work, and they're not even used anymore. Up here, we're coming into the marina. You'll be able to see what it looks like. It's been a long time since I've been down in here. And here we come. The outer part of it. Oh. Yeah. It just depends on... We're on the outer edge of it. So, seeing park and do some fishing and stuff kind of circle around lake's a little low so there's some areas that people are pulling their boats up to fish and stuff got a dock little dock right there you can pull your boat and up because there's a boat ramp right here and then right there is the marina see people have their boats and everything right there Yeah, it's not a bad deal. Can I see? Yeah. But yeah, this this isn't a bad lake. I mean, it's uh, I've been fishing on it, good fishing on it, and um, marina is pretty cool. I have no idea what they charge to keep your boats in it. But the other side of the lake where the campgrounds and stuff were at that I showed you, um, that's a lot of fun during the summer. Um, but anyway, you guys take it easy and uh, see you in the next video.